Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your magical moon message. Oh, it looks like someone called the cut on 5-0. Moon in Virgo, sunny Capricorn. This is it. This is it. This is it. Every transit, I'm going to say this is it. So just, but like, this is it. This is it. This is the masterful understanding of the change in behavior. Ninth house to the sun in Capricorn that with this ascension chapter is taking this magical change to give you are you ready real time dynamics of the real physical mechanics that are showing you ninth house changes virgo to your body capricorn virgo taurus grand trine these are more subatomic auto nervous energetic signatures within to the macro expressions outside of you or connected to you and through you. This is God level power that you're coming into a greater mastery and ascension of two. The harvest from the full moon, moon in Leo, and finally moon in Virgo completes the harvest. Before we step into the completion phase, moon in Libra, moon in Scorpio, moon in Sagittarius, with that balsamic phase that's gonna transcend the existential nature of how you step into reality as a God-aware being. And I don't mean the religious connotation of who you believe in as far as God, I mean the status of you as a completely aware, self-realized being. When you recognize that you are dreaming the reality that you are the creator of, you wake up as the God you are. This is the simulation that we're stepping into, which we do every year, but it's much more intense because of the shifting outer planets. And when you recognize you are the God of your reality, there's nothing that you have to externally manipulate and control because everyone is you pushed out in the sense where people still have their free will. Like I am you pushed out, but I still am the creator of my own reality. So in your reality, I don't have free will. The way that I see you is going to be based on what you are projecting out towards me in the form of the real of your thoughts and your beliefs and your ideas that project on this screen. I have my own free will decisions of how I'm gonna create my reality, but based on how you present yourself internally and externally will influence the way that I react and respond to you. How I respond to you is my karma, but the projection with which you give me the myriad of choices to make, it's all up to you. You are the God of that, okay? So when we say everyone is you pushed out, when we say that you are the God of your reality, we mean as far as the choices and the decisions you make to create the perception and projection of your world. The objective reality that unites all of us is this consciousness of God, the Holy Spirit, Christ consciousness. So that being said, when you tap in to this power, you recognize that external experiences do not have any power over you. And this helps you take back the manipulative power games and mind games that certain agents will manipulate experiences around to impress subconscious feelings of inadequacy or you not feeling good enough versus positive influences that will push for you to believe more in yourself in alignment with truth okay not to flatter you to believe stuff about yourself that isn't true because that's just more works of the enemy that being said when you see experiences that do not align with certain desires you have you know what i'm saying i can see a perspective employer looking and having lunch with someone else who might be my competition and I can look at that and be like damn that person's gonna hire that person that person's not gonna hire I'm literally creating that in the reality and when I say I'm literally creating that in the reality certain people take this the wrong way to mean that I'm trying to manipulate it if you try and be like no the employer likes me the employer is gonna hire me so that you can get the job that's not the point of law of attraction techniques. It's not the point of manifestation abilities and techniques. When you see that external reality, it should not change your inner world. You'd be like, well, that employer, whether they know it or not, 
uh, still has the opportunity to hire me. There's no one that's going to be better for the job than me. This is your true belief speaking. This. this is what you're truly admitting so that whether you get that job or not, does not matter? Whether you get the job, if you get the job, you'll just confirm, see, I'm right for the job. I got the job. If you didn't get the job, that does not change how you feel. It's like, well, the employer chose somebody else. And instead of hating on the employer, unless the employer screwed you over, you don't have to flip this on the, the, the employer and be like, the employer doesn't know better. No, that's the employer. The decision made for the employer. They could have gotten their best worker, but it's cool. They can make the decision they make. I hope that whoever they chose, it works well for them. And you move on because you're, 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 it's certain circumstances don't matter if that makes sense what you go through in this vein does not influence the god level power and inner authority you're establishing when we had the moon in aquarius on saturn you manifested this sense of inner authority after you activated the transit and and the moon in virgo is going to show you more real evidence than ever that you create ninth house your reality moon and virgo you're going to understand the physical mechanics around how your own belief and actions in yourself because now you're coming into the understanding of real details that will move you forward how you direct the superpower because once the moon goes into libra we've completed the harvest and now you're socially scoring up the leaderboard to see what you can do with this utilization of your abilities now that from moon and pisces to moon and virgo you have practiced imagining the template of how you want it to look like and now you're seeing the real evidence of what it fucking really looks like. Do you know why I'm hype? You're incredible. You are fucking incredible. Your brain is a miracle and you breathe. There's nothing else you need. You have the elements. You have fire. You have earth. You have water. You have air. Okay? And you have a physical body and a spirit. There's nothing else you need. You have infinite potential to create everything. And I really want this to break through more than just a cliche spiritual saying. Because that's what it used to be for me until I embodied this. Until I really felt this. So really embrace this. Because the grand earth chime that's forming right now is taking a whole Capricorn season worth of work you put on your character. And it's finally putting everything together. Capricorn was the decision you made to move in a direction. Moon in Taurus was while you moved in that direction, you strengthened it with values. You took your power and you created a foundation and that manifested substance. Virgo is where you take all that substance together with the direction of your efficiency and organization. This is where it all comes together. This is where you get the real picture perception, Virgo. Okay, this is very important because with that opposition of moon in Virgo to Neptune in Pisces, don't get tripped up because you're not seeing things happen the way you want to happen. Like you have a higher intelligence that as long as you align with these circumstances don't matter. Some of you can get frustrated because certain people who you're wanting to talk to don't give you that level of attention and it's like you're playing yourself you shouldn't even keep your mind on people who aren't giving you the attention you want there are billions of other people if you are stuck on a specific person don't let that vision go but don't get so stuck on them that you're playing yourself and you forget that that specific person will be lucky to be with you. When you actually embody, if you say, oh, my specific person will be lucky to be with me, they'll be lucky to be with me. That's different from actually embodying that in your behavior, not caring who you see them with because you know in your soul, that's cool, they're living their best life. I'm not too, the moment they mess with me, they gonna even have a better life. And you show that by living your life, having fun living your life. Some people think that means you have to go out and do extravagant stuff. If living your life is watching anime in your phone or computer and you genuinely enjoy that, don't let other people who think they're too cool or cooler than other people because they do luxurious stuff that they do to front on the gram anyway, think that they're better than you. If that's authentic, if you're at home, not doing anything and you feel this sense of adventure and you're not getting out of your comfort zone get the fuck out the house concurrently if you're out the house mingling with all these people because you feel like you need to go out and your soul is calling you to stay in get the fuck inside like stop trying to impress these people who don't really even know you especially if you don't even know yourself enough to feel where you belong so with that being said this moon in virgo transit is gonna be or is currently masterfully 
ridiculously amazing. This is this is the real evidence that's coming through in order to prepare with the Libra to Sag breakthrough of this incredible development of your consciousness. In terms of superpowers, Moon and Gemini a week ago mastered the intellectual understanding and integration of how your mind thinks around the change of your beliefs and how your beliefs are starting to reflect into your 3D reality. Now that you've done the work to integrate this, you are now seeing, Ninth House Virgo, the work you've done in Pisces reflecting your reality. And this is where it will not be exactly the way you imagine. If anything, it'll be opposite so that through this mastery, you can stand 10 toes down on your value. Because some of you want something so bad, you'll change yourself to get it. But then the moment you get it, you revert back to who you were before, where you should stay who you're changed, even if you have to walk away from what you wanted. That's the whole point. It's about the inner work. It's not about doing techniques and changing so that we get the external result because you're telling the universe, you need that to make you happy you be first you be it you feel it then you have it sorry you be first you be what you want then you do actions as that and then you have it you don't have it and then once you get it you be it be do have that's the formula and the reason why it's so amazing is because you've made so much considerable development that once we step into aquarius and we move away behind the shadow of saturn you'll be very knowledgeable on what that is but until then, what's very incorporate, what's very powerful is this ascension of showing you how it's all done, right, is not only mastering this ability that you have been developing into a, a, a perfect technique, okay? Moon in Virgo is now where you've mastered this technique to where earth sign, practicality consistently, you can use a superpower over and over. You have now crossed the threshold of mastery to where you don't just hit or miss. Let me go back. Because up until this point, there's certain things you've done supernaturally that you would do, but you couldn't do consistently at will. You would have to get to that state and hit or miss. You're not hitting and missing no more. You hit in, hit in, hit, 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 hit. It is mastery. You are understanding how, Virgo Moon, understanding how to use superpowers, Sun and Capricorn. To use Capricorn superpowers. Saturn, Aquarius, Pluto, and Capricorn, Neptune, in Pisces. The God level protocol of the awakening of your power, Pluto, the strengthening and downloading of advanced knowledge, Saturn, Aquarius, and the transcendence of your imagination as software of your body's hardware to actually program the magical abilities and skills through your thoughts and imagination. Bam, I just simplified superpowers. And I have to emphasize, this is the transit. You are mastering how to use your superpowers as an expression of your character and personality. Are you the type of person that's going to use the ability to be invisible, to peek into women's uh, restrooms or men's restrooms and steal money at a bank? Or are you going to use this uh, to actually help people find things and to, you know, spy in places where people need that representation. This is the Capricorn season level of integrity. It's just given this shift where some people are choosing to remain in their base self and not really step into their higher capability versus you who's choosing to do. This is the separation. This is the creation of the different worlds vibrationally just through your actions. So don't look externally. The stupidest thing anyone can say is, where's evidence of superpowers? You're not gonna see that externally. It's internal first because this external projection is an illusion just like separation and to the extent that you believe you're separate from me when i say i am god you're gonna believe that i think i lord over you and you're not god but i'm god i think i'm better because you think you're separate from me but you and me we're not separate that's not why you manifested me right now. Namaste. The God in me sees the God in you. Okay. It, 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 the, the horrible thing about the spiritual community is that the, the, and it's not the fault of the spiritual community, but you see a lot of these terms said and there's no substance said in them. So now that you're tapping into what this really means, real meaning, ninth house Virgo to the sun, this breaks this down in such a practical way that's tangible and can be used. So... 
Congratulations, you're getting ready to master utilage of supernatural powers and abilities that you're going to perfect in the mastery of a technique. And then you're going to use it to break through Moon and Libra, Scorpio and Sag. When you master superpowers, how are you going to use them with other people? You're going to find out. Godspeed. Peace.